Welcome everyone to the Jeroyer Account Tour 2018. Yes, I said 2018 even though we're in 2019 because I feel like I have to do the account tour today before the patch tomorrow. Otherwise, I feel like I'm cheating, right? I feel like I'm cheating on the account tour. It's not really going to be a 2018 account tour. Anyways, you get the gist. So, I've showed off my account a couple of times, so I'm not going to go diligently through every character, but I am going to like mm, try to try to hit some some points, I guess. Um, right, mastery rank 278. At at the current time of recording this, that is max. Thank you so much for the <sighs> sub, man. Super appreciate it. Um, PVP rank 148. It's not really something I've worked on ever since I hit 80 um, a long, long, long time ago, and I haven't really PVP'd a lot. World vs. World rank is something that I have spent most of my 2018 truly working on. 29, 13, that is all me just roaming. I started off, I don't know if it, when was, was it 2018 that the, the PIP system and everything came out? If it was, then I started off at like rank 700. And I've worked up 2,200 ranks since then, give or take. Pretty, pretty insane. Uh, achievement points, we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. But World as World is something that I played a lot this, uh, this last year. Uh, simply due to their, uh, their fantastic uh, rework of the, uh, the reward system. With legendary armor, legendary back pieces and all that. Anyways. Um, let's start off with characters, alright? Because... I have a lot of characters, not not as many as some uh, some people do, uh, but I do still have a lot. I I have a system. I have what I would consider uh, one, um, what's it called? One main of every profession, and you'll understand what I mean by that in a, in a second. But I have a few different ones. Uh, so like I have more than one thief, I have more than one Ellie and Guardian and, and Rev and whatnot, but there's always gonna be one main, uh, the same with NG. There's always one main, and for, for me, um, that is my, for my NG, that is my uh, NG here, Trix, my Guardian main is Tifa. All of these names, by the way, are legacy names, or most of these names are legacy names from like back in uh, Guild Wars One. If you want, if you want the full story, there's another account to it for that. Um, my guardian Tifa here. My ranger is Mira, and my warrior Nike A, N A I K E. All right, it was before I even knew about Nike. Uh, my thief, Disa. Um, and my Mesmer is Ariel, my Ellie, Aura, and, and let me see, my Necromancer is Persephone, my Rev Saga, and that's it, that's nine. Everything else is just filler characters, right? With like weird names or like the goddess Droira. If you've been watching the stream, you know exactly what that is about. Um, or like bank characters of some uh, some caliber or whatnot. But the reason why I have these nine mains, or consider that, is because all of my nine mains um, are set to have legendary armor. Now, currently, as of recording this, I have seven of nine legendary armor sets. So I'm missing, my Necromancer and my Ellie are missing legendary armor. Everyone else, every, every other one of my mains have legendary armor. Because um, I really, really like legendary armor. It's the most pog thing ever. It truly is. It gives so much freedom um, of everything. And with Arc DPS, um, with RTPS being a thing and the templates there, it just makes my life so much easier and it's absolutely amazing having legendary armor on, uh, on, on all your characters. I can play whatever the fuck I want at any given time. Uh, my only issue 
so far is that well there's only a single legendary trinket in the game but I can manage all right I can manage so far my next my next project after getting nine legendary uh, armors by the way is to get uh, nine legendary back pieces currently I'm sitting on three uh, technically four because uh, I'm I'm working on that with uh, world versus world, but I'm getting ahead of myself, right? I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, to begin with, all of my characters, all of my characters' inventory are set in the are basically set in the same way. Um, or managed in the same way. I've got my consumables right here at the start. It's very easy to, to access at any given point. Get some stealth, get some swiftness, get a break bar, something like that, right? And then every every character has weapons following that. Because um, I find that it's very easy for me. Usually, this is actually a, this is actually a setup for my ultra wide monitor, but I'm on on laptop, obviously, as you can see here. Um, but I find it very easy to just swap from opening instantly and never having to rescale my inventory at all. I hate rescaling my inventory, it's the worst thing. Um, on my NG I have uh, Bolt, transmuted obviously, um, to my Hollowsmith sword. I have the legendary rifle, the Predator, which is also transmuted into the best looking rifle in the entire game, all right? Best looking rifle. Changed my mind. And I've got hope. I've got hope. The the only good looking uh, pistol skin in the entire game. I like legendaries, by the way. You'll realize that in a second if you uh, didn't already know. Um, or if you didn't actually catch that from me saying that I have seven legendary armors. I love legendaries. Um, not for the skin, very, very rarely for the skin, but only for the convenience. The convenience to me is what matters. Convenience of being able to swap when a new expansion comes out, when a new uh, living story comes out, uh, what not. Because um, I, don't, I don't really like necessarily to worry about, or not, I don't really like shine all that much. I used to be a shine boy. I used to want all my characters to be shiny and have auras and everything all over the place. But nowadays, I want something simplistic. And my NG is a pretty good example of that. It's pretty simplistic. The colors are pretty pretty low key. Thank you so much for the for the prime sub man. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Frank Logafo. Um it's pretty pretty good example of that. I, I pretty uh, pretty much just keep everything well low key because I like to see my character I like to just look cool and I don't think shine necessarily is inherently cool shine can be cool don't get me wrong shine can be very cool but most of my characters you'll find are pretty low key um, alright inventory other than that I usually have on most of my mains I have between 200 and 240 slots I refuse to go above 240 I don't need it um, at the bottom here, let me actually drag this out so you guys can see this this fully. Uh, at the bottom here, uh, depending on whether or not I will do fractals on a given character, I have potions uh, sorted here. I've got food in the corner. That way I'll always be able to scroll down real quick. I've got them sorted as for what goes with what. Um, so like Condi and World vs. World and just power, uh, PvE. And uh, that's why I have two of these stacks. I've got my sigils to be able to swap real quickly between whatever I want um, on on my legendary weapons, or I've got uh, my uh, what are they called runes to be able to swap real quickly between that. Um, next to that, I've got I've usually got. Uh, my other trinkets. It depends on the different characters where the trinkets are actually depending on how many different builds I have for said character, right? But hey. Um, and I've got some bit a bit of leftover things like stuff that just stacks, right? I, I love to have that just here so it doesn't clutter my top so that if I open like a lot of shit 
and I salvage it all. I don't have to deal with the luck. I don't have to deal with like whatever. Uh, it just all stacks down here. So I, I usually keep on the characters that I, I play a lot or play often. I have pieces of uncommon, just like a single one to like let it slot in, and I'll pop it into the to the bank later on. Uh, the same goes with luck. It just stacks up here, and I'll I'll take care of it later. It's all about having the top being neat. I want to have an overview of what's actually important. When I'm running around, I'll salvage, boom, it's all gone. I, I want to see what, what is important. I don't want the clutter. It's very, very important to keep shit neat, all right? It is. Um, I have novelty items uh, just for fun on some characters you'll find. Uh, Alchemical Catalyst and the Transcendent Energy are both uh, pieces of the Legendary Crafting for Hope and I just found those to fit my NG really well because I've got the Super Venture Box uh, blue and red ores as well here. The colors just fit really well. I don't know. I, f I feel it, it's like a, a good luck charm. I like it. I've also got um, Fire Elemental Powder, Ogre Pet Whistle and Deployable Mortar Kit. Stuff for like dungeons and fractals occasionally whenever I'm soloing stuff it's it's pretty fun it's just a fun good use and I have the birthday blaster in literally every character right other than that you might be wondering why do Deroyer why do you have all this trash here it's because like I said thank you for the follow welcome to the stream by the way like I said I don't want to have to deal with bags I don't want to have to deal with like managing things I want to see what's important if I can place something down here, it's because it's not important right now. It's because it's just whatever. So this is like, uh, this is just a, a bunch of um, like, I don't really even know how many because I tend to like just click some of it and, and take the gift of battle out and whatnot. But I think this is from like this last week's um, World vs. World. It just stacks up. I just let it stack up. Loot doesn't matter to me. It doesn't really like I don't need the gold or the materials right now so until I need it I'll just keep it there neat and out of sight and then when I need it I'll open it I'll open it and add it to, to my to my bank um, while we're in the inventory let's look at my very expensive shared inventory slots all right first slot copper fed second slot rune crafter salvage matic and you might be wondering why you fuck why are you so dumb, all right? Why, you, why, mm, why do you have so many? Right, it's because uh, technically, and I like, here, here's the thing. You, I like statistics, I like technicalities. Technically, uh, you wanna use this Runecrafter salvage matic for masterwork uh, gear with runes in them, and you wanna now use the copper fed for fine and lower, and then obviously the, uh, the silver fed for rares. To optimize the potential drop from the salvage, so I bought all all three of them. Um, next up, I have the ascended salvage kit. Uh, always have that mystic forge conduit, permanent bank access, which is the best thing ever. Can I just say? I'll go through that in a second. Personal trader express, uh, invaluable. Uh, like I'm trying to literally make myself into a walking uh, town. NPC basically I'll have everything all I'm missing at this point is a uh, uh, a crafting table please arena crafting table please uh, merchant uh, I like I very much like this I don't have I know a lot of people have the um, what's it called I know a lot of people had all the uh, the gamblers thing. I don't really like gambling. I don't actually have any of those. I, the only reason why I would ha I would want to have the um, the gam tradesman there they are, legendary tart something. It's because they're legendary, <laughs> and because they're very effective. At, like you can have the merchant open and move, which is really useful. But I. Mm, I'm still crossing my fingers that someday the personal merchant will change into, well, the same option. So, hopefully, who knows. Uh, portable magnetite shard, I can buy ascendants whenever I want. I can exchange minis uh, whenever I want. Uh, when I'm raiding, I need, uh, I need to free up some bank space or whatever. I just like having permanent stuff. Same goes for this. It's just uh, world versus world stuff, um, being able to buy blueprints on the fly and you may say well 
you can already do that with personal uh, with a personal trader express which I already do and I don't actually use this because the prices are well overpriced uh, but hey what do you know I still like the permanent stuff Miss Luck Sanctuary Paskey do I have to say anything it's the best it's the best sanctuary uh, it's the best passkey all right it's the best VIP area hands down I love how I put my hands up anyways home portal stone uses every day it's pretty important to me uh, I go there and uh, gather on my uh, one of my alt accounts or not alt accounts alt uh, characters infinite misty mist omni potion now that's value that's value right there um, it's for fractals by the way in case you didn't know the candy corn gobbler that's true value that's how you stack up seven hours of experience boost for going into world versus world and, and farming world XP all right uh, white mantle portal device it's basically just a portal I love this thing it's for everyone to use uh, I love it in dungeons fractals whatever open world it's, it's just it's great um, the prototype position rewinder I keep this around I don't use it much but I keep it around just in case it's just a teleporter it's a teleporter you can put any point so I put it down um, all the way up there I'll jump down I have 30 seconds and I can always port back to that it's so useful for jumping puzzles or new areas or whatnot so I keep it there all the time um, that's the Requiem leg skin, by the way, mate. Um, right. I got the Season 4 Portal Tome. This is more like a placeholder, not gonna lie. I don't really use it much, but hey, um, it's there. Because, well, why not? I've got the Permanent Self Style Hair Kit. I can change my hair at any time. I rarely do, because I'm a. Uh, I like consistency, and I, I like getting the look that I really like and then just sticking with it. That's basically it. But I have it. I appreciate it um, a lot. Endless upgrade extractor, invaluable. Uh, like, it's just, it, ref it takes everything, uh, it, it rips everything out. It just makes everything so easy with like weapons and, and whatnot. Uh, it basically can turn anything into a legendary in terms of swapping. It, the only issue that I have with it, um, oh wait. The only issue that I have with it is that it, it rips everything instead of just rip like I can't choose one thing over another it just rips everything which can be a little bit annoying um, which is why I like long, like legendaries more thank you for the bits man super appreciate it um, right lastly I've got three I have more that's the thing you'll notice right down here I have more uh, logging tools permanent logging tools but I only use these three because I've got a glyph of industry in every single one of them it's 50% faster uh, gathering on every single node I can't live without this I, it is so amazing it really is um, yeah apropos uh, shared inventory slots I do have an extra one in case I ever need uh, something uh, something extra but yeah I don't know I haven't I haven't done anything to it yet um, am I doing bank I open my bank I may have okay let's do the bank first then and then we'll do the other characters in a second um, slaying sigils slaying sigils are important I need my slaying sigils available for all of my characters it's just there it's always there um, Pieces of unidentified gear. It's just to make it easy for me when when the stacks kind of clump up. I'll open. I'll mass open them. Uh, I almost did that. I did that right before the new year, uh, just to, like clear out the bank and whatnot. Uh, I've got a a leftover. Not a leftover. This is the first piece of my eighth legendary uh, armor set. Um, I kind of had to make it through World vs. World because uh, I already had the precursor laying around and otherwise it was going to be a waste so I just went ahead and did it. Um, so uh, right now this is the one that's going for my Necromancer right now uh, but I'm just kind of keeping it there because I don't have the full set yet. I'm waiting, that's the thing, I'm waiting because I have everything uh, ready to make the legendary set, the 8th set and half of the ninth. 
Um, but I'm waiting until we know more about the legendary divinations and whether or not I should be exchanging stuff and whatnot. So I don't have it. I don't have the eighth set, not yet. All right. Uh, well, this is world box supplies. It's just easier levels whenever there's a daily or whatnot. Uh, that's just symbol infusion. I exchange that for extra relics. Luck. I like luck. I like saving it up. I like just going going crazy with it. Um, and saving it up. You, you'll realize that I have about 25,000 essences or exotic essences of luck on my uh, one of my thieves. Uh, ornate rusted keys. I'm not going to go over everything. Um, but yeah, ornate rusted keys. I have those. Uh, this is basically just all of my gobblers. They eat stuff and spit trash out. Uh, I got the fractal reliquary, uh, lay matter converter and carbon converter. Th these three are actually the only ones that I really use. Uh, everything else is just kind of, eh. You can get better profit off of, uh, um, what's it called? At least with my amount of uh, bloodstone and whatnot. You can get better profit off of uh, refining the bloodstone into lay infused tools and selling those than you can just like converting them into trash so there's that I got the tiger den map which is a uh, it's the chukan jampa wa um, thing where you can get a little, little tiger on your back I don't really use it um, but I have it so there's that um, metabolic primers I like those all right uh, portal scrolls see I like neatness you'll realize this in a second I like neatness all right so there's a system to every single one of these. These are portals of some caliber, except for this one. I don't know really where to put this one. It's a, it's a world XP uh, enrichment. I should actually use that. There we go. <laughs> Wait, no, that's the one. That's the one. Right, there we go. Um, it just boosts world XP when I'm in world versus world. Oh, sorry. Others, uh, I've got the whole Brack Portal Scroll, Black Citadel, the Grove. I kind of wanted, at one point I wanted to make all of them, but I ended up making just the cheap ones and selling the rest of the materials, even though I bought everything. I don't know why. I bought it I bought it all, even the Lion's Arch thing, which was like, too expensive. Um, but I decided against it, because there's no like way of combining them into other than just the Lion's Arch Portal Scroll. And by the time, when, by the time that I was about to make the Lion's Arch Portal Scroll, the uh, the Sanctuary Passkey came out, and all I wanted the Lion's Arch Portal Scroll for was to go to Fractals, so I sold it. Um, I don't use the Royal Towers Pass. I don't use the Captain's Airship Pass. It's all I don't use the Lily of the uh, of the Ellen. Um, it's all just well outdated to me because of the Sanctuary Passkey. Hands down, best best thing. Season three portal uh, tome. I have that in case. Uh, I've got the world boss portal device. Also pretty pretty cool. I don't really use it. I like the permanent stuff. That's kind of the thing. If it's permanent, I'll get it. Um, but I didn't really use it that all that much. Exolo portal stone. That's the one that takes you to uh, to Orin's chamber when she's young. Anyways. Oh, a brilliant gin doubloon. That's a, a guild decoration for portals in the guild hall. So I kind of. It kind of fit in the theme, anyways. Um, very important. Dailies, potions of Wolves World rewards and PvP rewards. I save these up for whenever there's a new um, a new track. Anything I can get, I can get it instantly. Tomorrow is the the new patch. I'll instantly be able to get uh, more of the newest material. Um, whatever, whatever that might be. Um, I kind of pride pride myself on on doing these diligently and and just stacking them up. It's the only dailies that actually matter to me. It's true value. Uh, legendary spikes. I've got about. I, mean, I think I have a few on others, but uh, yeah, I've got about three hundred and eight here. Uh, legendary spikes. Those are from uh, World vs. World. It basically just signals that I've killed a lot of things. Uh, legendary spikes drop from everything in in World vs. World. Um, but, uh, well, yeah, they're, they're used from, uh, or they're used for the legendary back piece. So, but you only need, you only need one. So there's that. I need six more <laughs> or I need six and all, um, 41 fractal spoons. I will never sell these. 
because these do not drop anymore. These were these used to be part of a collection or they became part of a collection. That was the thing. They used to not be part of a collection. They used to just be a little bit of like 10 silver drop that you could get in fractals. And at one point they changed it so that uh, it was part of a, the spoon collection. And when you get the spoon when you get the spoon for the spoon collection, it wouldn't drop anymore. So this does not drop anymore. I'll never sell this. This is a legacy item for me. 41 fractal spoons, value right there. Right, apropos fractals, this is my fractal section. This is where I drop all my loot. Uh, like I said, I don't really care much about loot. Um, so I kind of, I just stack all my daily chests here and I open them when there's 250 and, uh, and that's about it. I have currently uh, what is that? 500, almost 750, almost, uh, unstable cosmic essences. And that's uh, 180 less than it should have been because I'm an idiot and I bought two of these, two celestial infusions, and I'm not actually using any of them. That's a lie. I'm using one of them just on, a, on an alt to like make it look like something. Um, so yeah, this is just waste. It was waste. Uh, I, yeah, never mind. I regret so much buying the the celestial reds. Anyways, um, all of this it just stacks up until there's 250, and then I deposit it in my bank. Same goes with like pouches and whatnot. I'll just drop stuff in here. Open it later. Um, salvage kits for later. 57 golden fractal relics. This will someday be value. I have. We have all been informed on Reddit that we should be holding on to our golden fractal relics, so I'm holding on to it. I'm holding on to it. Same goes for these. I could sell this for like, what is that, 300 gold? Something like that? For all the unstable cosmic essences? It's not worth it. I'm holding on to it forever and ever, all right? This is my le legendary section. This is where I put all the like legendary things or things for legendaries uh, and like a gray market black diamond. This is also an, uh, a thing that you can't get anymore. It was a, a bug in the code that allowed you to get this at the start of Path of Fire. And then when they fixed it, they made it so that you could change the gray, gray diamond for a, an actual diamond. One of the, uh, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? What are they called? For the, what are these things? I forget. There we go. The black diamonds. Boom. Um, you can change it for an actual one, but I refuse because it's a legacy item. Um, gift of battle. Uh, currently, I'm working my way up to 24 gifts of battle because holy shit, you need a lot for uh, legendary back pieces and I need six more of those. So there's that. Thanks for the follow, mate. Um, welcome to the stream. Gifts of the desert, in case I have four. Uh, gifts of Maguma, I have one. Uh, that, is the, that is the last one that I need. The last one, because um, I've already refined one. Uh, what's it called? Uh, there, Gift of Maguma Mastery. That's gonna be for the Legendary Longbow tomorrow. I have everything for the Legendary Longbow. That one is gonna go for my for the Legendary Greatsword. That's the one. And then I'll never do Heart of Thorns completion again. Gift of Maguma Mastery. This is all for, this is basically, okay. So in case you didn't know, right? There are different types of legendary shards um, when you're making a legendary, right? So these are all the le different legendary shards. They're different shards, they cost different uh, differently um, to make. And you can make, f if you make 400 of the offhand shards, you can exchange all of those into an enormous chest of legendary shards. Um, making 400 of the offhand ones is cheaper than making uh, 290 of uh, the two-handed uh, weapon. So, since I'm missing two uh, off-handed, or two, what, what are they called? Uh, two-handed weapons. The longbow, tomorrow, and the greatsword, someday. Um, I made eight of these enormous chests of legendary shards so that I have the shards instantly, and I've actually saved money on it. Um, so I'll have the legendary longbow, well, yeah, as I said, instantly. I need that, I need that, 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 and something else entirely. That's just the gift of ascension. Uh, gifts of condensed magic, uh, that's for my eighth set. I'm still holding on to that. Like I said, just holding on to it for now. 
Gift of Souls, doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. It's just the Gift of Souls. Mystic Forge Stones, the Gift of Complex Emotions. This is uh, the precursor here, Hateful Swirl for the ring. And this is a gift for the ring, the legendary ring, which will also come someday. <laughs> um, Mist Core Fragments, you need this for legendary armor as well. Uh, from P through PvP if you want to make those. I kind of just have them uh, from like ages ago um, when I was doing this track over and over again. Uh, cer certificate of Heroics, uh, that's a World vs. World thing. You need it for the back piece and the, the armor and whatnot. Uh, excess Lay Sparks, whatever, Mystic Tributes. And now I got both of these uh, legendary uh, precursor, that is, uh, the precursor for the underwater weapons, which I was gifted a long time ago, um, and I'm supposed to be giving these away, but I haven't found the like the right time for it, and I always kind of forget about it. These will be given away someday, though, uh, and a phasic distortion uh, reader, which is the Halloween thing. I don't know why I really stick on hold on to that. These are all my infusions. I kind of just have half stuff. So like Coda's warmth, I have it. Phospholuminescence, I have it. The same with like the polyluminescent stuff and the celestial and whatnot. I just kind of have them because I, I like to toy around with it sometimes, but I don't really use them. I've got excess mighty, uh, excess mighty plus fives and karmic and whatnot. Just infusions, you know, different tiers. Um, this is, okay, this is where, this is basically just trash. This is just garbage, right? Uh, for like whatever, I don't know. Don't mind it. This is trash. You could really just throw it out. I'm not gonna lie. It's a horrible. Like, uh, you gotta pick something and you gotta do that for like 250 of these. And I am not about to kill my mouse over flaxseed. No. This is the the runes for the um, the place down here, which I now forget. The Sunspear Sanctuary. Um, the runes for opening the daily door, which gives you a goal. Um, so you don't really, it doesn't really matter. Queen's Gauntlet, I'm holding on to these, obviously, for the Queen's Gauntlet next year. Uh, Treasure Hunter Kits, someday, maybe, probably not, they'll be uh, interesting. This section is interesting. This is just XP, this is Desert XP. Nothing other than Desert XP. Uh, casino Coins en masse, this is like millions and millions of XP. Um, I've got the Daily Chest for Jahai. Corna, I've got a, a few from Istan and Sandswept Isles. Desert Ore, Desert Lumber, Desert Hero, and Desert Plants. Let's swap these actually. Which means right when the next mastery comes out, I can instantly boost it. Done. I, I, I love that. I love prepping for stuff like that. I, mm, mm, feels good, man. Um, skirmish Chests. I've got quite a bit of skirmish chests, in case you didn't notice. I don't use them. Uh, I don't ever use them. They're pretty cool. Uh, like the loot table on them is pretty cool. Oh my god, the loot table on them is pretty cool. Um, Testimonies of heroics. You can use this for like infinite amounts of stuff, like boosting your uh, all of your different uh, alts or whatnot to have the the specific um, elite specialization. Badges of honor if you need that transportation charges gold through unidentified dyes or siege decorations It's pretty cool. The thing is it's just not really worth it for me to open it I've never really found it worth it because I already have all of that. I have all of the things So I'm just holding on to it in case something ever Occurs where I need it and, and whatnot So that's just there boosters and like leftover food. This is we're getting into the trash department now this is like boosters. These are the only things that are actually valuable. The karma, the celebration, and the birthday boosters. I'm, ho I'm holding on to all of this until the day that... That's actually a lie. This one actually counts as well. This is good. Item booster. I'm holding on to all of these until uh, the World is World Alliance has come out. I'm not using a birthday booster until the World is World Alliance go out, it goes out. Because I'm going to go fucking ham when that happens. All right? Ham. Leftover food doesn't really matter. Some revive orbs that's laying around. Mini Queen Jenna's that I can't deposit into my bank anymore. Feels bad, man. Sunspear Paragon supports. Uh, I uh, it's it's like a, uh, a deployable mortar or a fire elemental powder or whatnot. It summons a paragon. 
it's pretty cool it's not worth it it's pretty expensive to buy um, so eh. um, and these are just like greater potions of whatever hot map that I always forget to use anyways uh, black lion stuff right this is all the here's experience boosters I used all of my low low level ones when uh, the sigil concentration became a thing and uh, and uh, I went crazy with like alts and getting free uh, free uh, sigils super adventure box uh, fun box anniversary lounge choosy box it's another pass it's a two week pass I just haven't chosen it and I'm never gonna choose uh, winter's blessing extra XP from all game times with bonus uh, karma I'm also holding on to these for later on Celebratory die packs. I don't really do go too much into the dies. Um, I, I like the dies that I like, and that's about it. I don't really want to unlock all of it because it doesn't really matter to me. So whenever I stumble across something that I like, I'll unlock it because I have access to it through the celebratory, jubilant, exuberant, or triumphant uh, uh, die unlocks. It's just an account unlock. Infinite continue coin, value for super adventure box. Am I on a diet? Ha 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 ha. Hallows Fortune Fireworks. This is good. This is just 50% extra magic boost to all nearby enemy, er, allies. It's really good. It's really really helpful. I uh, I like to use these when I'm whenever I'm running in a circ farming, um, with people that are actually engaged. Teleport to friend are invaluable to me. Invaluable. Whenever there's a new map, whenever there's a new expansion or whatnot. I can get all of my tunes to the location that I need with a teleport to friend. It, this is this is value. Custom arena tokens. I could use this. This is for arenas, you know. Anyways, I'm not really using them. Self style hair kit. Nice waste because uh, I have the permanent one. Total makeover kit. Uh, boxes of fun. Tomes of knowledge. Ritz. I just I stack them up there and I'll convert them later. I don't like things going to waste. That's kind of the thing. I'll rarely throw anything out like no matter how little value it has I'll rarely just throw it out like I'll sell it or I'll convert it to become more than than it is but I, I won't throw it out I've got uh, excess of everything uh, these are only or these two are the only ones that really have any value to me um, because uh, these permanent ones are only personal I am the only one that can use them if ever I'm with friends or whatnot that need a trading post or a merchant I'll instantly pop it no worries uh, but everything else is garbage because I have the permanent versions black line scraps uh, black line scraps and black line statuettes um, this all these black line statuettes by the way it's just like daily daily farms or like the the occasional really a generous donation of keys um, super appreciate it but I don't really buy keys that's kind of the thing anyways a friendship shell the only reason why I keep this is for PvP because it's it says I don't know if you can read it on the screen but it says it's shaped like a hug and I really want to just spam that at people when uh, when they get salty uh, in PvP uh, Essence of Halloween. This is all just like kind of trash kind of deal. Llama Choosy Box, Black Lion Lockbreaker, Mad Kings. Like it's just pick boxes. Super Venture Box pick, uh, Sephiroth Curio Box, Blessings of the Four Winds. It's all the different weapons that you can get out that I just don't choose. Not until I can get all of them or there's one that I actually need. So these are all the Halloween weapons, which I've got nine of here. Um, these are all the uh, the Sephirite weapons, which I've got four of out of the six weapons I believe there is. Um, anniversary weapon pack, all the luminous weapons. I've got three of these. Haven't picked any. Or well, I picked two, I think actually. Immortal weapon uh, weapon choice. I got this a long time ago. I still haven't used it. Immortal weapons. Still haven't used it. And stuff like that. Uh, chest of Dungeoneering. Value. In case I ever need a specific type of anything value right there Tenebrous crystals boom I see okay apropos lucky items like the alchemical catalyst and whatnot I had in my inventory here um, I keep on to the lucky rapids feet no joke 
all of them, all the different colors, blue, red, orange. Uh, I have I have a green on my uh, on my thief as well. Yeah, I'm not superstitious as, as all at all. What are you talking about? Runes, uh, extra runes, uh, or whatnot that I want to hold on to, or whatnot. Um, yeah, runes. A spare for something. And then I've got all my ascended trash. And I say trash because, well, when you have so many, when you have as many legendaries as, as I have, uh, ascended just turns into to trash and you can just kind of throw it out for the most part. Um, World XP mini boosters. This is value though. Um, I should actually move this up, I'm not gonna lie, to my boosters. There we go. That is value. Um, some leftover food, another logging tool. I've got. A uh, world versus world reward track enrichment. It's like okay, we're just moving this up as, uh, here as well. It's an infusion. I don't know. It's just kind of it, below here. It just kind of gets a little bit well clustery. Um, lots of weapons and gear that I just haven't sorted or haven't done whatever. I tend to try to only keep like assaulters and malicious stuff. Everything else gets salvaged. Um, I don't need it. Akko Kalimo, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, that's my bank. Uh, other than that, the only things... Right, let me actually... Let me find uh, GW2 efficiency. Actually, uh, maybe I should wait with that. Maybe I should wait with that. Let's wait with that. We'll go to GW2 efficiency later. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff. There's nothing here that really matters. Um, except for legendary insights and legendary divinations. But we'll check that on uh, the uh, GW2 efficiency in a little bit. All right. Let's go through the characters real quick. Let's go through the rest of the characters real quick. Nothing, nothing crazy, nothing uh, overly uh, detailed. All right. I'm going to try to see if I can do this. Kind of quick, kind of quickish. All right, go into my guardian. My guardian is what I actually consider to be my main. My guardian is the one that has the most uh, play hours of all of my characters. Um, apropos, let's do a slash H. Age. There we go. I have played this character for four thousand four hundred sixty-two hours and twelve minutes over the past two thousand two hundred and ninety-two days. Uh, out of my total of 13,488 hours, uh, 36 minutes. Um, so yeah, I've been in this game for 2,300 days, give or take. More than, uh, what is that, six and a half years? Something like that? Um, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. My Guardian is the one that has all the legendaries. My Guardian has everything legendary. Except for the fucking Greatsword. <laughs> And you may be wondering, well, Deroyer, why are you sitting on Sunrise and Twilight if you don't have the Legendary? It's because I sold it, alright? I sold my Eternity. And now that they've changed Legendaries to be swappable and everything, swappable for uh, for Sigils and whatnot, I now need a Greatsword. And I refuse to make another Sunrise and Twilight, so I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the next one. Anyways, uh, Flameseeker Prophecies, uh, I've just got a lot of Greatswords here. Um, this is this is my uh, Sharur transmuted into the luminous luminous uh, blunt blunt is that brunt yeah brunt there we go this is Kutsu uh, transmuted into my wings of Duena this will get replaced actually as of tomorrow I'm getting the uh, the Ferris the giant light tower of a longbow boom getting it uh, and my Kutsu will go to my ranger. Uh, the Moot, also transmuted, uh, Flames of War, Fractal Torch, transmute, Shining Blade, I love the Shining Blade. I can never transmute that, I love it, I fucking love it. Um, Astralaria, and then just Ascended Great Swords for now. Bifrost, and I've got uh, Meteorologicus, The Binding of Ippus, uh, I've got Legendary Back Piece, and I, actually, I have until just recently, I think it's like two weeks ago, I got so fed up with it. Until recently, I also had Aurora, but I can't in stand Aurora. I can't stand the effect. I want to kill it off so badly. Remember how I said I don't like Shine? I 
fucking hate Aurora. All right. I moved it. I moved it into my bank for the longest time. It was just sitting like right there. Um, and then I, I started using it on my mesmer because I, I needed a bit of stat swapping there. I was like, I just I fucking hate it. I hate it so badly. Anyways, uh, quick access things. Uh, this is PvP. This is all just looted. So I have PvP on my, my Guardian. This is where I keep the stash for that. Um, I should probably clear this before tomorrow's patch. Um, my Guardian's inventory looks a little bit of, mm, more of a mess, but hey, I need a lot of things on her. Um, potions for fractals. Uh, very easy access to all my sigils. Uh, slaying sigils, the most important ones. Uh, obviously force, knight, impact, uh, accuracy, crate slaying, all that jazz. Um, luck, all that jazz. Uh, food. Um, five different, uh, currently, five different runes. Um, see, it's very important that you have an extra one. An extra scholar. That way, when when you do when you use any of these uh, templates, it'll put it in the same place as before. So I always have seven. I have seven of every rune on everything except for this. Why is there eight? Jesus Christ! Stop. All right, that needs to get cleared. Anyways, later on, and some extra uh, gear like assassins and uh, what are they called vipers and whatnot. Whatever I need. I need legendary everything here, please. Thank you, that would be great. All right, that's my guardian. Doesn't she look cool? I got. I recently got really tired of the legendary look. Um, I got. I just got. I get more and more tired of effects. That's kind of the thing, and the legendary has a lot of effects. Not gonna lie, it's it's cool and all, but I just kind of got a little bit tired of. So I'm taking a break from it with a with a cool uh, cool uh, what's it called pantsuit. <laughs> Anyways, I love the I love the look of her. Um, right. Uh, I feel like it's almost redundant to go through all of them, but I will. I will. Um, I need legendary aqua breathers as well. Yeah. My ranger. I'm going in no particular order right now. Um, I'm going in no particular order. The the for the record, the ones that I consider my uh, mains, the the like my actual mains, the ones that I play are my guardian, my ng, and my thief. Those three characters are the ones that hold the most uh, uh, that I hold the most dear. Um, right, my ranger. Also. Legendary armor. She actually has the uh, the uh, what's it called? The envoy. This is the full envoy. Uh, no legendary back piece for her. She doesn't actually have any any legendaries because I feel like I've always just had a bunch of weapons for her. Like swapping between all of it is color coded. So red is power. Green is condi. Uh, blue is like uh, healers or magi's or whatnot. So everything's here. It's color coded. Pretty, I, I'm pretty proud of that, all right? I'm pretty proud of that. Um, no Rev love anymore, no. I kind of got a little bit uh, sad about Rev. That's the thing. I kind of abandoned it. Um, Rev is, my Rev has the, the second most played hours on my entire account. Um, but I got so disappointed with Renegade. I just, I just quit. I just quit it. I can't, I don't. I don't like it. Um, that's why you'll find that on my rev, I actually have quite a few legendaries. Not gonna lie. Um, right, let's give my thief here. Deza. Um, rev might shine with diviners though. As of tomorrow, diviners is coming out as a new stat set and power rev is what I find most interesting but the, the issue that I've always found with rev is that the the damage rotation is too simplistic for me it's just it's just yeah it is anyways all right my thief she's got the red sneaks and the basic uh, basic look look at that I love it I love this super basic and red sneaks fucking mm, mm. 
Um, perfect. Perfect, Froda. Thank you so much. Um, all right. My my thief here, she has my Nevermore. It's uh, transmuted. Uh, that actually, that's the only legendary that's ever hurt for me to transmute. Um, I didn't really want to transmute it, but I just... I wasn't gonna use Nevermore in my Thief. It wasn't gonna happen. So I used the skin on other characters though, so I'm still getting the use of it. Uh, here I'm using my Predator uh, skin. I love that for my Thief. Um, I've got Hope skins as well. Uh, I've got the double incinerator, and these are actually incinerators. I got the um, Twice Told Legend. There we go. Twice Told Legend. Only very recently. Just before I, I powered down the stream for the holidays and whatnot, I got twice to a legend. I made my second incinerator. I'm fucking happy about it. Uh, I've wanted this for literally four years. I was about to say three, but it's like four years. Um, I wanted the double incinerators. Um, yeah. So I got it. Twice to a legend. Feels good, man. Pretty happy about that. Um, other than that, it's just regular weapons not gonna go through all of it same here um, on this character I usually do if I do I will do it on my thief uh, hot um, metas so I keep the choice chests down here so it just stacks there I've got a green rabbit's foot and a blue rabbit's foot I love this shit I love this shit yeah and another legendary spike I don't really know why I have that there I don't really well this is world on my thief but hey not right now, at least. Um, all right, on to the next one. On to the next one. What's the chest piece? The chest piece, that's the uh, the glorious uh, armor uh, from PvP. Dyed uh, permafrost. It, just, it basically takes out a lot of the details and whatnot. It just makes it very simple and sleek. And I love sleek. I love her eyes as well. Glowy eyes. Uh, right, uh, let's go because I clicked her. My warrior, Nike Deroyer. Boom. Not na not named after a certain other YouTuber. No, this character is older than my knowledge of him. I don't actually know uh, how well how long Nike's been about. But let me do the age real quick here. Slash age. Uh, she's been alive for. 20 uh, yeah 2168 days so 2168 days almost the entire duration of um of my game time anyways uh this is another very simplistic look i very i love this look all right it's very simplistic it's just uh browns uh, brown colors and uh and mixed in with a bit of purple to make her look like a fucking warrior right I feel like that's what what goes goes wrong a little bit sometimes is that warriors just look like flimsy flimsy princesses dancing around and I wanted mine to just look like a like a chick that would get shit done and I, I feel like I accomplished that um, I feel like I accomplished that at least I tried um, she has got legendary armor as well uh, obviously but no legendary weapons none um, intentional. Uh, I only just want a lot of different weapons. I don't mind the bank space or the inventory space being used up by weapons. Um, this is a little bit more uh, Spartan. Uh, I don't really have much. I don't really use my warrior much. That's kind of the thing. Uh, I'm more of an opportunistic warrior. It's the same with like I'm an opportunistic warrior, mesmer, and druid. I don't main them. I don't like try hard them. I know how to play them. Um, so I'll play them, but I, I kind of have like just the the most basic uh, things ready to, to be able to do to do just that um, Right on to the next one on To the next one speaking of my mesmer My mesmer used to be used to be my main For a period of time. I was that was before heart of thorns before everything. I was just core mesmer PvPing all day, um, all day every day. <laughs> is this weird flex but okay account? Yes, this is this is account tour. Weird flex but okay. All right, I'm gonna step aside here for a second. 
That's not mine, by the way. I don't like minis. All right. Here is my Mesmer. Also, legendary armor. Um, not a whole lot, if any, legendaries. Oh, right. I got Sequaddle on, uh, on my Mesmer here. Um, I think that's the only legendary. And Aurora, obviously. Aurora went here because I kind of needed it. I hate this effect. I really do. I want it to go away so badly. Um, but yeah, Sequaddle is, uh, is a pretty fucking mm, pog. Pog legendary. I like I like that. Other than that, lots of different weapons. Like I said, I have things ready. I don't main it, but I like to optimize. I, I love to optimize for stuff. So I have all kinds of different things. Uh, weapons and, and runes and whatnot ready. Uh, look at all these runes. It's one of the one of the classes that has the most runes for me. But the first uh, or that's actually a lie. Um, my second legendary armor. I knew I was making the heavy first. But my second legendary armor was for my for my mesmer. The only reason why I made that was because legendary armor on mesmer is invaluable. You can swap all the time and everything. All like all the like it, it's so fluid. It depending on the encounter. If you want to optimize, you want to have a legendary armor for mesmer. It's it's just value. Uh, here's my ascension. Legendary back piece as well. Um, the wings transmuted into a rose. Nice. Desert rose. Alright, putting that back. On to the next one. Uh, let's get... I'll take I'll take my ults afterwards. There we go. Alright. My, my... As I said, I have nine mains of all, all classes. I said this earlier. But yeah, I'll take my uh, the ult, uh, ults afterwards. Lastly, um, yeah, Demro. Sorry, it, one of the things that's happened with me changing over to this new setup is that I haven't, I haven't transported all of the uh, all of the sound sound bits and files and everything. Um, yeah, it's a it's a completely new setup, so bear with me. Anyways. My Rev. My Rev is one of the only characters left that still have uh, particle effects. Uh, the Ghostly Infusion. It's too thematic for me to not use it. I love it. It's the same with the Winter's Presence. I always wanted my Rev to feel like she was uh, a bit of a, a white ghost, right? And so she's got super white eyes, like completely white eyes and uh, white hair and She's got the ghostly infusion and, uh, and winter uh, stuff, wintery themed. Um, she's got my third legendary back piece actually here, my ad infinitum um, with the ghostly infusion. Also legendary armor um, and then a lot of weapons, a lot of different swords. She's got my original Frostfang, uh, my original Chukan Champawa and my original Eureka. Um, all legendaries. Love these things. Love it. She's also carrying the Spirit Quest Tonic, just for RP, yo, RP. Look at, look at all the things that aren't rendering, there we go. All of these little ghosts that fly around. There was a time when I thought it did something, turns out it does nothing. Um, she has also got, yes, there we go, my uh, Shushiru, my original Shushiru. I love this little fella, look at that, look at that little guy. He's such a cutie, he's such a cutie. Um, right, other than that, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, yeah, I was about to call it a hot mess, but it isn't really. This is a row of, uh, of berserkers, this is a row of uh, vipers, and I think she's geared for, yeah, right now she's geared for, um, hand kiting, hand kiting, that's the word. All right, on to the next one. On to the next one, uh, Aura. My Ellie, my main Ellie is probably one of the characters that I played the least of anything. Um, the least of anything. I don't like Ellie. A lot of you guys will know I don't like Ellie. Um, it's just not me. I'm not much of a spellcaster. Uh, I really am not. But that hasn't stopped me from uh, designing her to be cool looking. She's still in uh, the armor. She's last in row to get legendary armor. 
she's last in row to have everything sorted. So right now, I'm actually just, I don't actually have everything ready for her. Feels kind of, feels kind of plebeian, man. Um, I have a World vs. World set for her in exotic. Ooh. That stings. Oh my goodness. That stings. That's not good. Anyways, she's got an Ember Infusion, which I don't like. And I want to sell again. But I can't get myself to sell it because I, I did a whole fucking mega marathon stream to get it. <laughs> and I got it. Die, little mosquito. And I got it. Um, so I can't get myself to sell it. Not yet. So she's just like super flamey, demon-esque. And I really like her look. It's just that, well... Hey. Uh, recently, she's been uh, my... Uh, what's it called? Provisioner Token Hunter. So this is just all 10 of the, uh, of the Provisioner Token weapons that you exchange. Or weapons of gear. That you exchange for a Provisioner Token. I got the 400 and I was like, alright, I think that's enough. I have a deep, deep hate for all Ellie's. All of you. Exactly. Exactly. Good good sound bit right there. So she doesn't really have much, um, but yeah. It actually looks I really like uh, I really like the look, but at the same time I kinda just wanna sell it. Um, sell the look. Thank you so much for that sub, my man. Whew. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back, my man. All right, I think that's the last of the mains. There we go. Persephone, that's my necromancer. She's next in line to get legendary armor. She technically has one piece, but it's in the bank because I can't be asked to have. Um, um, I can't be asked to have just uh, what's it called? Oh my god, one piece of legendary armor on a on a character. So I'm just kind of sitting on it until I finish the rest of it. Anyways, I um. I really like my Necro. I've actually played it a bit um, with uh, with Reaper, with the current balance and whatnot. She looks pretty subtle. I kind of wanted her to be a little bit subtle. Um, wait, why is she? All right. Um, I want her to be like dark, gloomy, uh, plant person um, hunting you down. She's got all the right things ready to go for like anything, uh, fractals, whatnot. I don't really play her all that much, if at all, but I've got all the weapons ready, I've got everything ready, except for I need the legendary armor. Soon. Soon. So right now, I still have a second set down here um, for Condi Scourge. That's about it. I uh, Like I said, I'm, I'm basically... The only reason why I haven't set up more builds for my Necro right now is because I'm waiting to finish my... Um, my legendary armor and then I'll set up everything for her so I'm kind of just like baiting my time here I kind of want to get a bit more into Necro uh, I've really been enjoying uh, playing Reaper uh, it's, a, it's a pretty cool build uh, in PvP and like just open world Power Reaper um, but other than that yeah alright I think I should yeah exactly boom she has my Verderac uh, my original Verderac so she's got a legendary um, nice big horn of the underworld. I love this thing. Um, it's pretty cool. All right, that was all. That was my nine main professions, nine main uh, characters uh, with the professions. Everything else. All right, I'm not gonna show everything. Key Royer is just a key character. I'm not even gonna log into it. The Deroyer is just well, I. <laughs> He's now just an old version of me, <laughs> but I used to use him for, uh, if you guys remember a, a series called Tyrion Characterology, I did on my YouTube, I used him as like a placeholder for like me, as like a, an in-game character, and he was, he was, he was that. Um, I used uh, this character as well, he's more of the original, hey, he doesn't look like an old hobo version of me, but yeah, I used these two characters to like do animations and whatnot. It was, it was kind of fun. Nowadays, I just use him for like a hot daily in uh, a gathering shards or whatnot. Yeah. Um, and Noel is my girlfriend's created character. She created it. She never played it. She just created it. Um, and now I use it for, well, storage. Every, every uh, alt... Uh, storage character has some kind of theme to it um, 
So like, uh, let me see here. This is junk and uh, and uh, XP boosters, like lunar XP boosters. So lots of spare parts, all the junk, and then Living Story season uh, season one junk, uh, skins junk basically, and then then Visage boosters. That's it. What you'll find might be funny though is that all of my alts have ascended gear as well. <laughs> <coughs> Cause I have too many, I have too many. Um, it's time to raid. The raid is a is a, what's it called? Uh, it's not it, what's it called. It's late, so, which is why I keep going. But thank you for reminding me, man. All of my alts basically have uh, have ascended gear, but I'm not really gonna go over it. Anyways, my girlfriend designed uh, this character um, all the way through, um, just for fun, cause she wanted to try it. Um, and that's the story of that. And right, augmented Droyer. This character was not there last year. Do you know why? Do you know why? It's because about what is that? Six, eight months ago. I was graced by ArenaNet with well having an NPC with my name put into the game. Um, and I should actually go here. This character acts as like my librarian and fractal thing. So this character keeps all of my books, all of the books that I collect from like Living Story and, and whatnot. Um, and then all the like fractal uh, leftover skins in case someday it'll be used for anything. I doubt it, but maybe. All right, faster load, please. Let's go. Cause I, here we go. So all the books, all of that jazz, uh, plus some uh, some fractal skins in case. Look at this, look at this. All right, please load the character. There we go. Look at that. Well, look at me being an idiot with camera angles. There we go. Deroyer, account augmentation, standing here in the Mistlock Sanctuary. That's probably the biggest, I don't even know if I can call it an accomplishment. It's the biggest thing that happened for my time in Guild Wars 2 um, ever. Uh, so also, yeah, in 2018. So I made a character uh, that looks exactly like it, except for the eyes, because the eyes can't be changed for us. That's a dev hack thing. But yeah, uh, you guys will know what this uh, this is about, maybe, probably. It's for account augmentations, of which I have everything. Uh, Fractal Goddess is the title that this uh, this character will sell you, um, and uh, and that's pretty pretty fucking pretty fucking cool. Lots of uh, account augmentations for fractals. It's basically just for those of you who don't know, it's extra, uh, just a little bit of extra loot. It's extra agony. It's extra damage reduction. Uh, or not reduction, extra da damage, um, 7% extra damage, you know what I mean. You're doing extra damage and you're getting a little bit of extra health per second. Um, it's basically just, just extra stuff, which is really cool and which is something I'm extremely proud of. Hey. All right, on to the next one. On to the next one. Gotta go fast here. Right. This one, I don't think I'm really gonna log into. She holds a lot of Black Lion uh, kits, uh, which I don't really use. Uh, this was supposed to be my hand kiter uh, before I had Legendary Armor. And after Legendary Armor, I just kinda, well, I stripped her of everything except for armor, because I've got so much fucking armor, ascended armor laying around. Um, so right now she just gathers. Um, Wait, actually, I can log in because I, I think I actually have something on her. Like, she's a storage, char storage character. I think she just holds the Black Lion chests and my leftover salvage matic and copper rheumatics and whatnot. Um, but there might be something else as well. Let me, yeah, all right. So I've got, there we go. This is my, uh, this is my big shame. This is my big shame right here. Extra silver fed and extra copper fed. Way back when uh, account slots didn't wasn't the thing, 
I've never been able to refund this. Never. Uh, Black Lion Chest. And then, oh, there, there we go. All of the uh, extra legendary uh, things that I haven't finished. The, the collection, that is. All the essences for crafting the, the precursors. Right, that's it. That's it. That's it. Uh, on to the next one real quick. Um, Deroira. You guys will know, if you've been watching me on Twitch, you know who Deroira is. It's my sister. Um, that uh, I made a character out of to play. Also an NG, because uh, I wanted to, to, well, be able to play a class that was good and looked good and whatnot when I was, uh, when we were doing Deroira streams. So I basically just decked her out with cat ears and like a uh, cute little dress or whatnot. I don't know. She holds a lot, of just ascended back pieces and uh, trash ascended items. That's basically it. Um, these are all the ascended uh, like shoulders and or armor pieces and weapon pieces that don't really have useful stats. So like Sintel and healers, defenders and whatnot. All of it can still be stat swapped, so I keep it around. But I have another character entirely dedicated to holding, um, here we go, dedicated to holding all of my uh, my actual useful stuff, actual useful uh, ascended stuff. So let me let me get back on to that, uh, or onto this. This character is another necromancer. Um, is this character was designed by you guys? Not this, this is where my all this celestial infusion is. This is just because I got tired of looking at the actual look of it. This was designed by Twitch chat. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Princess Sparkles. It's, it's amazing. Um, this is all just trash armor. Because I only used it for like a hot minute and then, well, never mind. Here's the actual useful... Uh, Ascended chests, which I have too many of again. Um, I, I don't know. At some point, I'll just salvage it all. But for now, I just keep it around because, well, who knows? Maybe someday. Maybe someday I can use it for. I don't know. I'm working on never being able to, or never, never having to use another ascended uh, set. So, hmm, probably not. Um, Lilu, I show this off as well. <coughs> Sorry about that. Lilu is my first Ellie. Um, but turns out I didn't actually like... Uh, like... Uh, what's it called? Asura animations. So I had to like swap it to a human. Um, but I use her nowadays for... Well, she's got... She's, got, she's one of the few that has uh, exotic. Because I don't have much leftover uh, light gear. Anyways... She is used to just store my insanity. This is the, the symbol of my insanity, basically. Um, materials, living story materials that I refuse to use or, or get rid of. I have everything from every map, that's the thing. I'm just holding on to everything in case someday it'll be used for another legendary. Who knows? Probably won't happen, but who knows? Um, so yeah, other than that, it's just... It's just uh, She's, she just gathers. That's it. That's it. That's all I use her for. I like the little hat, though. I like the little hat, though. Um, Harbinger of Woe. Or Harbinger of is what he's called. And then the guilt tag. Haha. -ha, clever. Haha. -ha, so smart. Not really. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Jesus. That sickness striking me. All right, this character was made just as a joke to begin with. Um, a long time ago, he was made to like be a Winnie the Pooh character, but since then, I've just changed him into a giant fiery demon, uh, making him as big as possible. Wait, that was the wrong one. Um, in big and in tonic, there we go, boom. Just making him as big as possible, that's what I wanted to do. Um, it's pretty, I don't know, I, I don't use him really. I just stack all of my actual used ascended uh, gear on him so like all of the gear that other characters have had this is all just retired stuff retired ascended gear that i'm never going to use again probably 
He's got Ascended as well. He's even set up for like Condi Berserker, um, except for the, except for the stuff here. Um, other than that, yeah, he's uh, he's just a he's just a meme-ish character. That's it. That's it. He's got a big bushy beard, I believe, as well. Yeah, yeah. Look how look how handsome he looks. Handsome Jack. Right. Um, next one is there. My thief. This is this. This is the second symbol. <laughs> this is the second symbol of my insanity. My thief. Uh, not because of the thief, but because what he stores. He stores about 25,000 essences of luck. I have committed the, uh, the, the horrible mistake of buying extra slots for him to... Uh, to store more luck in case someday, 164 uh, legendary, oof, in case someday we can increase our magic find. Right? This is actual value to me. These account stats are fucking value to me. Max magic find, obviously, 322, which is all the, uh, what's it called? Uh, AP as well, whatnot. XP gain, karma gain, gold find. I've never missed a daily login, which means I have the max gold find uh, possible uh, at my AP level, that is. 130. Uh, you get 2% after every rotation of, uh, of these daily logins. Swag. Um, this is value. Someday, someday. Probably not, but someday. Um, I'll get this. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be used. Um, other than that, he's just got a uh, pretty basic like uh, Marauder set. That's my thieves' earlier. Uh, what's it called? Um, well, this is world set that he's now wearing. Um, yeah, I don't really use him for other than just refining and whatnot. Um, all right, yo. Let me see. Let me see what what else I got. What else I got? All right, that's all my characters. That's all my characters. Let's do a quickie sum up of that. All right, let me. So, in case you were wondering, um, let's go to GW two efficiency. Boom. GW two efficiency. This is okay. So legendaries. Here we go. Uh, legendary um, weapons. Legendary weapons. I've got one, two, three, f uh, four, five, six, I think there's 23 or something. I'm not gonna count the entire thing. Um, I've got quite a few legendaries, most of them Gen 2. I never really uh, was a big fan of the Gen 1s until much, much later when I found them to be necessary uh, for like double legendaries or whatnot. Um, armors, uh, here we go. I've got all of these. I've got one in the bank, but other than that, there are seven sets. Um, my NG, my guard, my ranger, my warrior, thief, mesmer, and rev. So far, beginning of the necro. Um, but let's go to stats. This is where the interesting thing happens, right? This is where, this is where it gets interesting. All right, account value. Account value. I am ranked four hundred forty-four uh, on the leaderboard on GW two efficiency. Let's extend this for a bit. Let's extend this for a bit. That's a blip in the system, by the way. Um, account value is 267,000 uh, gold. Um, I am, well, way, way, way down there. Anyways, that's not what I actually found, find to be interesting. What I find to be interesting, here we go. All right, unstable cosmic essences. That's an interesting one. Let's look at this. Let's look at this one. On that board, wait, what? Okay, on that board, I am one, 116. I wish I had never bought any of my red infusions. I wish, because then I'd have 180 more, and I'd be, I'd be around here. But I, I, I bought reds, so it feels bad, man. Anyways, lots of unstable cosmic essences. Feels good, man. Fractal relics. This will calculate for fractal god and everything, uh, and the amount that I have. Um, 
Let's pull that up. It's a little bit slow. Let me actually get uh, just on the side here. Let me, let me get my wallet. Yeah, there we go. Just for just for funsies. All right, I am rank 41 on Fractal Relics with 248,000 uh, total total relics ever. At the at the moment, I have wait, am I blind? I have 88,000 uh, Fractal Relics and uh, 2,700 Pristines left over. Um, because I don't. The reason why I'm saying leftover is because there's literally nothing I can use it on. Nothing. No. Nothing. Nada. <laughs> um. All right. Legendary items. Here we go. Legendary items. Let's get this. I don't know why Mozilla Firefox is so slow, but it is apparently, and it's the only one that works for the stream. Legendary items. Any. I am rank six. I have seventy legendaries across my entire account I'm rank six that puts me right there and soon to be five more uh, one more tomorrow five more someday soon with the legendary armor um, uh, the fifth one well as soon as I know about the ring I'll craft the this the, the eighth and the ninth um, and I should be around three Right, legendary armors. Let's just let's just cut that. Let's just cut to that one. Uh, directly. Come on, come on, come on. Slowest Firefox there ever lived. I'm rank eight. Forty-three legendary armors. Rank eight. That's all the way down here. Oof. Feels I need I need to get up to the fifty-four mark. That's nine sets. Boom. And legendary weapons, I think it was like 23 or something. All right, last one to look at. Yeah, 23, boom. And that puts me at 282. That's not really all that impressive, but I like it. It's it's very fitting for me. Um, the important, there we go. Legendary insights. Legendary insights. I have acquired a total of 1,522 um, Wait, what is this? Oh, never mind. 1,522 legendary insights over the course of my playtime. I am ranked 446. I will never be be top, and I have no issue with that. I took a six month break, a six month break or so, uh, about a year and a half ago. Uh, I don't regret it. It's great. It's great to take a break. Um, it's like a band aid that just gotta get ripped. Uh, legendary divinations. I have the max max right now. Uh, Mine is the first week because I did the clear before uh, and I haven't exchanged uh, any of my legendary insights to legendary divination. So I have the max minus 164, I think it is. So, hey, there's that. That puts me at a, at a rough 98th percentile. Um, what else we got? What else we got that is important here? I'm not gonna show everything. Legendary spikes doesn't matter. Um, all this doesn't matter. All right, let's go in here. Let's go back in here. Magnetite shards. I'll, I'll scroll through this slowly so that you can see what I have, but I'm not gonna go through all of this. Um, we got a lot of everything. Testimonies, lumps of mithrilia. Mostly I'll just go for whatever is, well, yeah important to me. Um, the only things that I really hold on to are the really account bound things. So like fractal relics, magnetite shards and gating crystals. Those have high, high value to me. All right. I'm an idiot. All right. Story journal, long story short, starting over just a second. Long story short, I have all of it except for daybreak. This one's bugged. Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. Um, I, as I said, I pride myself on having every mastery point. So I don't have a single star out here. If there is a star out here, it's just fucking burning in my eyes, all right? Nearly completed, World vs. World. Uh, everything in World vs. World is just nearly completed and it'll never get completed. I mean, someday, someday. Um, missing Champion uh, Shadow, uh, Champion Legionnaire, Magus and Hunter, even though this one's really close. My Year of Ascension, also missing a few. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know. 
and the PvP, uh, all of these. I haven't really done much of it, uh, like I said, um, but hey, it's it's whatever. I, I, I did, like the last season I did, the last season of 2018 I did, um, but I'd skipped like four, five seasons before that almost. No, that's a lie. Three seasons, I think it was. I, I've just completely skipped, couldn't be asked. Raids, got all of that jazz. Um, got the throne, got everything. Fractals, got everything. Uh, collections, that might be interesting. I have all the basic collections, but the rare collections. I'm still missing the, uh, that's the Super Adventure Box Red, Spirit Crafter, and the Treasure Hunter. I'll never finish this. Uh, it's not worth it to me. It gives, the, the treasure gives trash. Um, and everything else, it's too expensive for me to go for trash, so it can't be asked. Um, right, uh, Giant Slayer is getting closer, someday, maybe. Um, I refuse to do these, the legendary, uh, legendary tarts and the Ecto Gamble things. I just don't do it. Explorer, I recently got the Twice Told Legend, pretty, pretty proud of that. Um, but yeah, all the monuments still the same. Uh, everything is I, I basically have everything I assume that I just have everything here except for uh, PvP and uh, World vs. World Those are basically the only things that I'm missing. So I'm not really gonna go too hard on on these uh, these details um, but yeah No gambling feels feels safe man safe on the internet man um, But yeah, I believe I believe that is the end of it. Oh right, my wardrobe. Not gonna go through a, through the entire wardrobe. I gave up on the on the wardrobe a long time ago when everything turned into gem store things, gem store things that I didn't like and I didn't want to support uh, in that sense because it was just gem store instead of armor. Um, well, I kind of stopped caring. But I unlock if it's in the game, if it's acquirable through playing the game, I'll get it. So assume that I have everything except for a gem store shit. Basically, I have a lot of stuff. Um, same goes for weapon skins. I gave up on the black line stuff as well. Couldn't be asked. I didn't like most of it. Uh, I'll get it if I like it, but hey, other than that, doesn't really matter. Oh right, right. I'm not. I'm not done. I'm not done. Here's what we're missing. Boom. Uh, the dies in case you're you're curious I don't have most most of these exclusive dies boom outfits these are just kind of random happenstances this one I absolutely love I was very very lucky to get one very early on when the whole kung fu thing happened this year it was amazing um, very very appreciated uh, that they did that um, other than that, miniatures. I hate miniatures, but I unlock them if they're in the game. <laughs> so I have a lot of them, but there's a lot that I don't have. Um, four glider skins. I have the legendary glider skins. The rest is just like random unlocks here and there. Um, except for like the soul glider and the white wings. Those are bought. And the black wings as well. Those are bought. Everything else is like random unlocks. Oh right, that's a lie. The cryomancer thing, also bought that. I will always support icy shit. Always support icy shit. So I'll buy that. Mounts. I have quite a few of these. Quite a few of these. I got the the second gen of the like all of the second gen of the uh, the loot boxes. So I just bought all of them. That's about it. That's that's all of those I have except. Four, I was very generously gifted this Shrine Guardian by two of my amazing mods, Cartman and, and Pixie, and I really appreciated that. That was really that was really kind of them. Um, other than that, I usually I usually just go with a theme for a character. I don't really like the shine inherently. Like I'll I'll rather have a big burly thing than I'll have the a starry shiny turd. Like, it's just not me. Um, Novelties. I got a lot of novelties. Holy shit. So many novelties. I went ham and unlocked a lot of the tonics and everything and, and whatnot when, when it came out. Still a lot missing though, um, but I have the important ones. The pile. 
a musical instrument to play Despacito, <laughs> uh, the selfless and uh, uh, and the thoughtless potion, and the executioner's axe, and the choya tonic. So I've got I got a bit of a bit of everything here, bit of everything. Um, finishers, I basically have everything except for like the very expensive ones that are very hard to get ones. And I think that's about it. I think that's about it. Boom. I think that's about it. That wraps up the the account tour. I think. Tell me if I missed anything. But hey, I think that I think that's uh, that's it. I